Greetings, this is Daniel from Placemaker, and I'm here to officially release the Google Earth imports that we allow with Placemaker. It's free to import all the Google Earth data with the subscription version of Placemaker, and I'm gonna demonstrate how that process works in this video. It's very straightforward, pretty quickly, and you can see there's access to a whole sort of 3D data that you can bring into SketchUp to use for your models. So we're gonna get right to it and I'm gonna demonstrate how this all works. I'm in SketchUp and I've imported a location using the placemaker dialog and using the location tool, create geosurface, selected an area in New York City that includes the Empire State Building that's outlined in green. You could see that low resolution aerial here. I have the placemaker dialog window open where you can import building massings, railroads, roads, high resolution aerials. And at the very top, it says 3D Earth and Google. And that's what I have selected. There is an option for near map, but we'll just talk about Google for now. And I have the import level detail set to high. There's three settings and the ability to further refine it. I'm gonna click on import 3D. And this process can take a couple of minutes to accomplish but it doesn't take too long and you just have to kind of wait this part through. The import was completed. You can see all the tiles are highlighted. You can zoom in and see the details. I actually see that the aerial location map is still on. So I'm gonna to go to tags and turn that off so we can see the ground level detail. And it's pretty cool. You could do a, a couple other things here. I'm gonna actually, there's one more, a maximum setting for these models that are offered. You can't import them in wholesale that way, but we're gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna select these tiles and I'm gonna click, oh, including the spire here. And then I'm gonna click refine the selected details, selected 3D tiles. Those will be cut out and deleted and it's going to be uh, four times the resolution of these buildings. As you can see that it's importing it in now. The import completed. I was fast forwarding the video through that just so you know, it takes about a minute or two to happen. That's a really nice level of detail to this 3D model. I'm gonna do another example here in a second. Just Let's just take a look of what you can import in for a lot of locations around the world, as you can saw at the beginning of this video. I'm gonna show another example here. And uh, this is Neufenstein Castle in Germany. And you could see the location here. And I imported a fairly large area I'm gonna select it. I have 3D Earth and Google selected, but this time I have the import level set to medium because my focus is gonna be more of the castle and less the location. And here I'm not actually gonna pause the video and fast forward this. You could see this is happening in real time here. And it's got a really good amount of terrain and relief. Just as a side note, this is what the Disney castle was based off in Disney World. And it's gonna probably finish here in a second. What we're gonna do is then refine the level of the detail of the castle itself and not so much the rest of this. There, it completed the import. I'm actually gonna move the default tray out of the way. We're gonna zoom into the castle. Looks a little bit like melted wax. I'm gonna select these tiles. You could see these tiles are really big because we did them at a medium level. If I select and if I select refine selected 3D tiles, what it's gonna do is actually upgrade those to the high level, so not the maximum level. So you have to do this twice. And then this import's gonna take a little bit longer, but we don't have to select as much information. You can see the details already considerably better than it was before. I actually uh, I'm kind of amazed. We know that there's actually one more level of refined detail that is in the Google Earth data set. Again, I'm going to hit this now, refine selected details. This will do it at the max setting. 
and that's popping that's actually importing it in pretty quick so that's one of the ways to actually use this you don't want to import everything in mass like i do and get in trouble because these models are rather large in size but they produce an amazing level of detail and you can see the level of detail now it's going to finish here in a second and what this is a good methodology methodology to really work with some of the information if you want to bring it in so that's google earth import if you want to know what data is available for placemaker and google earth we cover all the google earth data if you go to google earth itself and if they do have the data in 3d you have to have terrain and 3d buildings selected then it's available for the SketchUp version um, as well. So it's really based off that availability. And uh, so that in a nutshell is how to use this tool. And we hope you enjoy it. I know I use it now for all my projects. Thank you very much. One final quick note here, just to be cognizant of how I was saying importing these models can take up a lot of space. These files are large. They can take time to open and close. So just be patient with it and then use the refinement ability to your advantage to maintain file size.